wave to people, say, hi, Amanda, hi, Charlotte, hi, Monique, hi, Heather. Can you wave? Can you wave? Look at this camera. Can you wave? A little bit of a rough morning over here, but we're good. Yay. Hey, Dolores. Wait, I don't think, is it live? Are we live? Can you hear me, guys? Oh, here we go. Charlotte is here. Awesome team. There we go. All right. All right, guys. Hey, can you say, are you ready to work out? Are you ready to work out? <laughs> can you say that? Oh, they just love to look at themselves on the screen. Welcome, everybody. We are going to do body weight Tabata today. Hey, Chelsea. Hey, Simone and Laura and Yvette. Natasha in Germany. All these people. Yeah? All right, we're a little bit pouty. Hey. Three miles. All right. Okay. Oh, Melanie had a three mile warm up. Nope. Go to daddy. Go to daddy. All right. Can you wave? Wave? Can you wave to the camera right here? Wave right there. Okay, just pouty face. Okay. Maya is all of us in the morning, right? Sometimes we're grumpy in the morning. That's okay. Hey, Faustina is here with her mom, April. Tamika is here. Yay. Wendy is ready to move. Janice and Windsor. I'm so happy that you are here. Hey, Aaron. Awesome team. All right. Whew. We've had a morning over here with, uh, you know, some crying kids, but we're okay. I know many of you can relate. Uh, anyway, we're going to get it done today. Hey, Gina. Body weight Tabata. So we got a little bit of a preview. Last week we did dumbbell Tabata. Is that right? Um, so, hey, Linda is here from the countryside of Tennessee. Ah, how about that? I'm from the countryside of Virginia originally. Hope everybody has a great workout. Me too. Lisa is here for her very first live. Yay, and Anita. All right, so body weight Tabata, but we're gonna mix it up. Typically when we do Tabata, we will alternate between a couple exercises. If you've never done Tabata before, it's a really fun format. 20 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds of rest in four minute rounds. So we get eight little bursts of those 20 second, uh, 20 second rounds of work. The way we're gonna do it today, we will still have two exercises, but we're gonna have four rounds, four sets of 20 of one, and then four of the other. So we're gonna make it a little bit of a burner. And what we're gonna do is we are gonna add on every set of 20. So we did something similar last week. So you really do have to pay attention and you can always just stay with the very first level, which is gonna be your base level. So I'll give you tons of options as always. Remember, be where you are today. You do you, work to your level, challenge yourself in a way that works for you. But know that we're gonna be adding on to keep it interesting. Usually this type of format just flies by, so it's a lot of fun. We're gonna work hard. As I always say with Tabata, it moves fast, but it moves fast. Zahara here from the Philippines. Welcome, Shelly and Karina and Holland. Paula is here, and Paula. Paula from the Body Fit Athletic Club as well. Oh, she's just saying hi, she's gonna do it later. Hey, Anna in Germany. Angela is here, she loves Tabata. Yay, Wendy says we burned all week. We did, right? All right, so we are going to get it done. It's got to be a good time. As long as you are moving, that is all that matters. You showed up, you're moving. Yay, Allison, dad's on lunch, lunch duty. Yes, so you are ready to work out. Heather is here and honey. All right, team, shall we get to it? Let's get to it. Go ahead and make sure you have some space. Let's get warmed up. All right, starting with a march or a jog, whatever you need to get that energy flowing, roll those shoulders to the back. Ah, you can make them a little bit bigger. Jenny says hi, she's gonna do it tomorrow. Birthday party. Oh, <laughs> that turned it off. <laughs> Happy birthday, Jenny. Whew. Let's make them a little bit bigger to the front and then one at a time. Whew. All right, team. So Tabata format, if you are just joining and if you've never done Tabata, you are going to love it. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Whew. Let's open it up nice and wide. Add a little side lunge to that and breathe. Sit deep into that hip. Let's add a little reach down, reach up. Just like that. And then hinge it up, 
and down. We're here. And reach and down. Hey, Kayla has her rest day today. She's gonna do it tomorrow. All right, guys, walk it out here if that is right for you. Otherwise, just keep your little hinge inchworm warm up through the back, through those muscles all along the spine. And of course, getting the core fired up and ready to go. You can take this as slow as you need to. My inchworm is a little slow today because I'm working out some sore muscles. Woo. Let's go one more right here. Hold it here and if you can, press up into that down dog, back to center. Press it up, back to center. Lift from that core and then press those heels down to get that stretch. Last one. And walk it back, round it up. Woo! Tap it back right here to open up that hip. You can make it just a nice wide step or if you're able, drop it down in the lunge. Stretch out through that knee, yes. We need that, right? Hold this one here, reach up, little stretch if you can. Reach down, reach up, drop that back knee. Three, two, one. Step it through, other side. Take it low, reach up if you can, drop it down. If you're able here, hand up, drop that knee. Three, two, one. Let's do that one more time each way. We call this the world's greatest stretch. There's a reason, right? Ah, feel it all the way through. And other side, take it here. Reach up or down. Oh, balance. Three, two, one. Bring those feet together. We'll take it here, round it up. Flat and round, flat. Hold it here, roll those shoulders, gently press out on the inside. Nia says, happy fall, y'all. I'm with you. She's gonna do it tomorrow. Awesome team. Let's tap out and reach across. All right, we're gonna get started in just a second. So we have these quick four minute Tabata rounds. You have two moves, but your first four sets of 20 are the same move where we keep adding on. And then your second four sets of 20, same move we keep adding on. So again, as I said in the beginning, in case you missed it, we're gonna start with a base move for our first set of 20, then we add on every time. So it's gonna be quick. I only have 10 seconds to preview our next move, but we're gonna get it done, and you are gonna like it. So get excited about that. Let's take it across in the time in between before we jump into our next Tabata circuit, I will explain what's going on so you have a little bit of a preview, but for the most part, it's gonna move quick, but we're gonna be done fast, right? So little stretch here, just like that. We're gonna keep the heart pumping, we're gonna get the muscles burning. It's gonna be a good time. So step it out right here, take it to some little jacks if you want. While you're doing that, low impact or high, doesn't matter, watch me. Your first round, we're gonna start with a squat. Then we're gonna go regular squat to plie squat. Then we're gonna take it where we move it forward and back. Then we're gonna jump it. Then we're gonna take our arms, thumbs up, and then pinkies up. So it's gonna be a little bit of a hinge, and then we're gonna add on to that. Trust me, you're gonna feel it. It's harder than it looks. All right, let's get ready. Regular squat, 20 seconds. Take it down, bring it up, drop it low. Sitting in a chair, you know it. We're not hyper extending in the top, but we're connecting with the core. Low to high, breathe and up. Three, two, one. What we're adding on, you breathe for 10. Regular squat, bring it up, take those toes out. Plie squat, bring it up, toes in. Ready, here we go, 20 seconds. Regular squat, toes out, plie squat, toes in. So you're moving at the top, get low with both, squeeze up through the inner thighs, connect with the core, drop those hips, weight in the heels for both. Three, two, one. Now we're gonna take that same motion, but we're gonna travel with it. So regular squat, 
Step it forward nice and wide, toes out. Step it back, narrow. Here we go. Squat, forward, narrow, back. Woo, so squat, forward, sorry, wide. Take it back. Try to alternate which leg you step with. Take it back. Regular squat. Yes, last time, last set of 20. You can keep it right there or you can jump it. Forward and out, back and in. Three, two, one, here we go. Forward, back, forward, back, right here. Out and in, out. Remember to modify, you just step it. You keep whatever level of those three that we just did. Five, four, three, two, breathe. Yes, half of this Tabata circuit is done. All right, team, so watch me here, thumbs up. I'm gonna squeeze out, I'm gonna rotate, pinkies up, here we go. Thumbs up, pinkies up. So catch your breath on this one. Really focus on squeezing in the back. So thumbs and pinkies, up and out, up and out, good. So roll those shoulders. Now we're gonna take it, just the thumbs up, little pulses, and taps. So up and up. Here we go. Small pulses. Squeeze, squeeze. Looks like this. So you should feel through the back, through the shoulders. Again, harder than it looks. This is when we catch our breath, right? And breathe. Three, two, one, and relax. Now we flip it. So pinkies up. You're gonna feel a little more triceps. We're gonna tap it to the back, here we go. Up and up, breathe, yes, squeeze, feel it in the back of those arms, Ha! four, three, two, one, relax. Last one, guys, we're gonna go up and out, up, and tap. In three, two, one. Here we go. Thumbs up and jump, tap it back. Up and jump, tap it back. We're going back, whoo, sorry. Pinkies up on the tap. Thumbs up on the jump. I know, a lot to think about, but don't worry, we're getting it done. Three, two, one, relax. A lot of brain there, right? But you felt that. So great body weight move that you can do anywhere. Little pulses either all the way through or thumbs up. Feel those arms, right? Grab a quick sip of water. Nice work, team. So that's what it looks like. You get first half with one move building, second half with one move building. It's about to get really fun. Breathe for a second. If you want to go back to that squat, Toes out, it's up to you. Or just forward and back without the squat. Go for it. Otherwise, we're gonna start our next round. All of the same move. But we're gonna go all on the right leg, then all on the left leg. Rock, watch me quickly. We're doing a regular lunge, right leg forward. Then we're gonna do a lunge to a kickstand deadlift. Then we're gonna do a lunge to a deadlift through here. Then we're gonna jump it. Then we'll do all of that on the left. So a little bit of a burner, because we'll get all on the right, all on the left, four different things. Follow me if you can. Zip up that core, lunge it back. Here we go. So I've got my right foot forward, my left leg is stepping back. Nice and easy. Modification, remember, is just that tap. Keep the front leg working. We're here to here. Take it down, bring it up. Yes, three, two, one, relax. All right, team. So let's keep that going. This time it's a lunge, bring it in halfway, kickstand hinge deadlift. Here we go. Lunge, tap it in, hinge. So you should feel quads and glutes, glutes and hamstrings. Drop it back. You've got that back toe down, but the work is in that front leg, right? Lunge, kickstand. One more, yes! Woo! Yes! 
breathe. All right, watch me really quick, guys. You're just lunge and up. Lunge and up. If you can, here we go. Lunge, take it forward. Lunge, take it forward. If that's too much, you can go back to that kickstand. Breathe and up. Yes, five, four, three, two, one. All right, guys. So little jump here. Little jump with the lunge, then the deadlift. Keep it going, last 20, I know it's burning, then we switch legs. Jump at the bottom, deadlift. Jump at the bottom, and of course you can modify without the jump, just a little pulse, and with the kickstand, kickstand, five, four, three, two, one, yes! I know, that was long. Get ready, let's do it all on the other side, starting with the lunge. Trust me, this is a burner, but we'll get it done quick. Here we go, lunge it back. So other side, left leg is forward. Take your time on this one. Drive up through that front heel, drop the back knee if you can. Modification, just make it a little more of a tap. Five, four, three, two, one. Now we're bringing it in. Hinge with the kickstand, so back foot with a little bit of balance, and then hinge from those hips, and then step it back into the lunge. Here we go. Lunge, bring it forward, hinge, kickstand. Drive up through the heel. So it's a lunge, drop the knee. It's a hinge from the waist. Down in the knees, hinge from the waist. Try to go towards the floor if you can. Yes. All right, let's keep it going. It's a lunge. Forward into your deadlift if you can. Kickstand is fine or just the lunge. Here we go. Down, forward, and down. Yes, burn. Keep that core engaged. It does not have to be fast. You've got five seconds to go. Get them in. Breathe. Don't worry, our legs get a break after this round. And one. Last one, team. Add a little jump at the bottom. It's low, it's grounded. Everything else is the same. Here we go. Lunge, jump, hinge, deadlift. Lunge, hinge. Or just a little pulse and kickstand. Pulse and kickstand. Five seconds, jump it and hinge. Last one. Yes, breathe. Oh, legs. Little stretch into that. Whoo, who's feeling it? I know I am. Two Tabata circuits down. Quick sip, team. Whoo, right? All right, let's get it done. Here we go, everybody. All right, so if you want to just keep it moving, little taps or lunges, if you're not sick of lunges yet, but you probably are. Watch me, we're taking it to the mat. So our first one is a core one. Arms and legs get a break, right? We're gonna start with a regular full crunch. So lift the hips, lift the shoulders. If you're modifying, you're gonna keep everything to a bridge and I'll talk you through it. Full crunch, then we're gonna go everything in, extend it way out, then we're gonna do a hollow hold, then we're gonna do a hollow rock. Bridge, I'm sorry, you're gonna modify, you're gonna take the bridge the whole time. All right. Then we'll take it over with some push-up variations. Go ahead and bring it down here. Core's engaged. 20 seconds. Lift the shoulders, lift the hips. Here we go, everything in, everything out. So really make sure that it's not just lifting the shoulders, that you're really thinking about that deep core. Pull in, breathe. Five, four, three, two, and relax. So relax it down. Now we're gonna really bring it in tight and really extend it long in three, two, one. Here we go. In and out. Reach it long. Modification, just keep with that bridge, but engage the core. Keep it up. But if you can, everything in. Remember, you can always stay with that base level. Three, two, 
one, relax. All right guys, so hollow hold. Exactly what it sounds like, we're just holding. So you can either hold it here or you can hold it here. Whatever feels better for you, bridge. I just want you to hold, here we go. So hold it out. We're locked nice and tight. See if you can lower those legs. If you can keep those shoulders up, great. If you need to drop them down, that works too. The most important thing is just to stay tight in that core. So keep it tight. Four, three, two, relax. Yes, team. All right, back to movement on that bridge. We're gonna rock with the hollow rock. So here we go, take it here. You're forward and back, forward and back. It's a rock, so you're nice and tight. It's not here, you're not moving. You're keeping your core tight, but you're using a little momentum to rock against that. Yes, you can do it. I know it's tough. Five, four, three, two, breathe. Yes, all right team, turn it over. We're going into a push-up for our second set. So push up on your knees, push up on your knees here or your toes, whatever is good for you. In three, two, one, here we go. So you're down and up, nice and slow and controlled. Whatever this push-up is for you, you can also take it on the wall or the countertop, but quadruped is fine too here. Press it up, up through those triceps, all the way through. Three, two, one, relax. This time we're gonna do a push up and release. So wherever you are, here, you're gonna do a little lift and then push it up. If you're on your knees, just take it here, lift, lift, and up. Here we go, all the way down, lift those elbows, all the way up. All the way down, lift the elbows, so it's a little squeeze in the back of your body, in those shoulder blades. If you're here, up, up, and up. Last three, two, one, relax. This time we're adding a Superman. So if you're on your knees, I want a little bird dog. If you can come all the way down, you're lifting arms and legs. Superman, three, two, one. Here we go. Take it down, lift it up, bring it up. Take it down, lift it up, bring it up. Try to keep those elbows at that 45 degree angle so they're to the back, not out to the side. And up, three, two, one, relax. Yes, team, little stretch. So last one, we're gonna bring it up quickly, pop it up, little jump out for a jack, and then down. If you're modifying on your knees, your bird dog and push up, keep it the same. Otherwise, little Jack, here we go. Take it down, Superman, up and Jack. Down, Superman, up and Jack. Slow, reach, and out. Yes, team, you got it. Five, four, three, two, one, breathe. Whew, that circuit felt a little longer, right? Because it was all on the mat. Shake it all out, all upper body and core. How about we get back to those legs? Catch your breath, team. Woo! We are blowing through this workout, right? All right, team. Whew. So we're gonna take it into a side lunge, all on one side. It's another one that your whole right side is the first and then left. Side lunge, then we're gonna add side lunge to a curtsy, then we'll add some pulses with it, then some jumps. Here we go. Side lunge, take it up. Nice and easy. One side only. Drive the hip to the back, through. Focus on that lower body, your core and your upper gets a break. Let's enjoy that, it just worked hard. Three, two, one, relax. Watch me. One to the side, cross it over, curtsy. So you're basically going hip to hip. Outer thigh glute, outer thigh glute. Here we go. Side lunge, curtsy. You can tap it in in between, or you can go fluid all the way through. So here to here, but get deep on both. Yes, we've got five, four, three, two, one. 
Now we're gonna pulse for two, pulse for two, stay low the whole time, little burn, all on that same side. Here we go, two, and cross, pulse two. Sit deep, side for two, curtsy for two. Don't cheat it, I know it's quick, but let's get it done. Yes, hip to hip, three, two, one, yes. This time, guys, here, here, here. Little jump if you can, otherwise, just switch it. Here we go. Side lunge, jump, curtsy, jump, side lunge, jump. Yes, you got it. Woo, right, yes. Three, two, one, ha. Breathe, all of that other side, right? I know, the nice thing is that we're switching our legs. Let's get it done. Side lunge, nice and slow. Drive it up. Take it up. Yes. Back and up. Take your time, catch your breath on this one. Yes. Breathe. Side lunge into curtsy. I know the heart is still pumping. That's what we want. Focus on your form. Don't worry about it only being 20 seconds. Side lunge, join me to curtsy. Tap it in in between. Or fluid step it through. Big step. Side lunge, big step. Curtsy. Yes. Hip. And down. Side to side. Last one. Woo. Shake it out. Now we got pulses for two. Pulse into the left hip. Pulse into the right hip. Drive up through those heels. Ready, here we go. Pulse for two. Pulse for two. Side lunge and curtsy. You got this. I know we're getting tired. 10 minutes left. Maybe a little more, but let's get it done. Yes, breathe. Ha. All right, team, so jump it through if you can. If that's not you today, be where you are today. Just step it through. Last one. Side lunge, hop, curtsy, hop. Yes. There we go. Get it done, because we are close to being done with this workout. Breathe. Yes, ha. Catch your breath. Quick sip of water. How about we take it back down to the mat, right? Woo, upper body and core. Had lots of legs and cardio. All right, team. So breathe for a second. If you want to keep a little cardio while you're watching me, you can do a little shuffle side lunge, but it's totally optional. All right, guys. So we've got one leg out, one knee down. We're gonna start with just a little leg lift. So it's super basic, it's glutes and core. Then we're gonna add a little lift to the knee. Then we're gonna add a little switch, same leg. Switch, same leg. Then we're gonna add a full mountain climber, all right? You got this, keep it going. Go ahead and join me down on the mat. So same leg is lifting, same knee is down. If you're modifying, you're just gonna keep that knee down and keep the leg lift, right? So you can still switch, but you can keep it up. All right, so we're here. One knee in, one leg out, leg lift. Here we go. So super simple. On this, I want you to focus on those hips being square, on that core being engaged, on that foot being flexed, and squeezing the glutes in the back. I know, this is a little breather while we set up for this move, right? Three, two, one. So little stretch back. We're gonna keep that same leg back, but we're gonna lift that knee off the ground, right? So if you can, they're both coming off the ground. Ready, here we go. Up and down. You don't have to lift the legs super high. It doesn't have to be here. We just want the core, right? So you can feel those legs working and lots of core. And breathe. Five, four, three, two, one, right? 
Sit up if you need a little hip flexor stretch because you're gonna feel it. This time we're gonna switch our legs. One, two, lift. Or tap it in or keep those knees down. Here we go. One, two, lift. One, two, lift. Or tap, tap, lift. That's your modification. One, two, lift. One, two, lift. Yes, and breathe. Bring it up, little stretch. All right, guys, last one. It's just a straight up mountain climber. If you're modifying, just tap them back or tap them in if you can get off the ground. Here we go, bring it. 20 seconds, make it good. Drive those knees into your chest. Remember, if you need to, tap it in. I would rather you slow it down and have good core function and strength than to feel like you're all over the place to go fast. That's not what we're worried about. Three, two, one, little stretch. Yes, so bring it up, stretch those hip flexors. We're gonna get all of that on the other side. So I'm gonna turn this way so you guys can see me. Starting with the leg lift, leg lift in here, switch and lift, mountain climber. In three, two, one, here we go. So lift, hips are square. This is where I really want you to focus on that form. We're not twisting. My hands are directly beneath my elbows and shoulders. I'm staying lifted in the center, squeezing the glute in the back, right? So we get that extra glute. I know I said your legs were gonna break, but we're feeling it. Good, little stretch. Now we lift that knee off the ground if we can, all right? So let's keep it here. In three, two, leg and knee. Here we go, 20 seconds, up. Breathe. So it's a little bit of push through your arms, but I really want you to think about that lift through your core, right? Lift in the center, lift. Let's go five, four, three, two. Stretch those hip flexors. Now we switch it, one, two, lift. One, two, lift. In three, two, one. Here we go. One, two, lift. If you can, keep the knees off the ground. If you need to, put it down in between. Tap, tap, lift. Yes. Three, two, one. Relax, last one from here. I know your wrists are feeling it. Straight up mountain climber. If you need to modify, you can even take it standing or just tap them back or tap them in. 20, here we go. Hup, hup. Guys, if you're feeling like you're all over the place or your hips are popping or you're not stable, I just want you to slow it down. You can still get that intensity and that speed and you get more of that core engagement. Five, four, three, two, yes. Ha! Right? So everybody sit and stretch out those hips, right? I know. Look at that. Five minutes to go. All right, team. We're going to stay right here. A little stretch. We're going to a little half Tabata circuit for our side planks. So two sets of 20 each just to get it done. So we make sure we have a little time for stretching at the end, right? And maybe even a bonus move. All right, so water if you need to turn onto your sides. Again, if you need a little more of a stretch, I know those hips feel it. Taking it here, whoo, little stretch. All right, side plank on your elbow. We're gonna start with just a little lift. Second time through, lift and knee. It's up to you. Starting in three, two, just lift. Scoop it up, up and down. You're on your feet if you can, or on your knees if you need that extra support. Breathe, lift, whatever is best for you. Keep it going. Up and down. Three, two, one. Relax. All right, one more from here. We're gonna add that top knee, bringing it in. If you want, you can bring it at the top, or if you wanna add it at the bottom, that works too. Here we go. Up, in, and down. Up, and down, and in, and breathe. Yes, five seconds, can you get two more in? Last one, good. 
relax, switch it over. Other side. Yes, here we go. Take it up, just lift, take it down. We are so close. I know, breathe. Yes. Knees are fine too. Just lift. Three, two, and breathe. Top knee is what we're gonna add at the top if you can, but if you need to, you can go here and lift, add it at the bottom. Last time, dig it up. Half Tabata circuit, always fun when we get to make them half. Two minutes instead of four to really keep that core working and that upper body, right? Who's feeling it? Whoo! Yes! Last one. Breathe and stretch. All right, team. Let's get a bonus move, right? Ha, huh. Angela, I'm with you. I know the mountain climbers, that was a lot, right? A lot of four minutes in a row. I knew it was gonna be, but that movement is really hard to do all at once in a longer, like a 40 second circuit, which is why I did it. But you did it, right? So that's all that matters. All right, guys, so hands behind your head. Watch me here. You're gonna keep them here. Transverse lunge, transverse lunge. And we've got mountain side lateral for four. That's all we need. So lateral for four, transverse with or without a jump. We're gonna keep it lower body, we're gonna keep it cardio because that upper body and core is spent. Let's get one minute to go before we stretch it out. We're starting in five, four, three, two, transverse with or without the jump. Lateral, three, two, one. Transverse, hook, lateral, four, three, reach up, two, one. We just wanna keep the arms moving, but it's lower body and cardio, low impact. You can go slower than me too if you want to. Out, jump, breathe, hook, hook, whoo. 20 seconds, keep it going, yes, why is this minute going so much slower? Because we just did a full workout of 20 second rounds, right? But 10 to go, finish it out, four, three, two, one, oh man, you did it. Nice work, everybody. Wendy said she was swearing to herself. Ha! Sign of a good workout, right? Whoo! Heart rate coming down. Take it out right here. Gently roll. Good work, team. I know that was a lot. Whoo! I told you it was going to be a little bit of a burner and a little different than our traditional Tabata because we stayed on one thing for the first half. Whew. But when the halves are the same, it's a lot, right? <laughs> yeah, I figured the lunge, the first lunge round, lunge and, and hinge, and that mountain climber would be the toughest. And I was right, it was really tough on me too. So, the nice thing about Tabata, again, you're never doing anything for longer than 20 seconds. Oh, except a bonus move, right? Take those arms to the back, and it's over quick, right? Ha! Thank you so much, Maria. It's 50, you've been to my workouts for 10 years? Amazing. Probably eight, because I've been here for eight. Uh, woo! Yes! Amir says it's super workout. It flew by. From Ireland, excellent. Angela, I knew. I knew you could do it, girl. I knew it. Woo! Glutes and triceps on fire. Me too. Guys, let's take it down. Let's sit with it. Oh, right? Knees out. So that's what I was feeling. That was my hope. I think when we think of bodyweight workouts, we think of a lot of chest and shoulders with those push motions, but I really wanted to target the tries and also get those glutes burning, that side lunge to curtsy. So we're not overdoing it with the quads, even though they're always 
working hard. Michelle, sweatiest I've been since I gave birth a few months ago. Michelle, congratulations. Thank you for being here. Oh yeah, that childbirth is sweaty, right? <laughs> Good work. So that's quite the workout, but I'm glad that you're here getting a different kind of workout. Let's sit high. Thank you so much, Anna. You have a great weekend as well. Laura is on fire. Woo! Allison, the switch and lift was killer. Sore from golf yesterday. I love it. Yeah, probably all that rotational. We were just talking about this in the athletic club about how when you do something different, why variety is so important that you do these crazy hard workouts with heavy weights and all different types of equipment and movements. And then you do something different like golf or my example was horseback riding or something that you feel like shouldn't feel that strenuous, but you're working all different types of motions and you're waking up those movement patterns. So that is why we love variety in our workouts because that's what we want for our bodies, right? We're always striving to challenge them in a different way. Our body's job is to become more efficient, right? More efficient at the movement patterns, at the strength, at getting stronger, at doing things over and over and over. And when they get more efficient, we have to push them a little harder in a different way. All right, team, Woo! let's get one big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your body weight Tabata workout. Great job, everybody. Huh. If you have a minute or two and you want to hang out and say hi, I'm going to take some questions. If you have them, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about what is coming up in the athletic club for October. Get excited about it. Whoo! Dolores, thank you for joining. Speaking of the athletic club, Dolores is a great member. We have a lot of our body fit athletic clubbers on today. Whoo! Sweaty, sweaty, you guys. All right, so another thing that we talked about in the athletic club in our talk about variety is that variety can mean a lot of different things. It doesn't necessarily have to mean you go heavier or you do a different kind of workout. It means that you overload your muscles in a different way. And those longer repetitive motions like doing two minutes straight of the same exercise, just adding on muscle endurance, right? Versus doing one set of lunges with heavy, heavy weights. That would be another way to do it, right? So that's why we mix up the formats as much as we mix up the tempos, the timing, Tabata intervals versus some longer ones, things like that. It's all about keeping your body guessing and keeping your body responding. Mel, my favorite move was the side lunge, jump to the curtsy lunge. Yeah, I love that too. I love that move in general, but adding the jump really adds something a little different. Ooh, Erin went for a walk with her mom on a beautiful fall day. Oh, I love that. Thank you, Amanda. Thanks for joining. Oh, yes, Monique liked it too. Awesome, guys. Oh, Colleen, first workout back since you broke your arm a month ago. I'm so sorry, but I'm glad that you're back. I hope you were being careful. I'm sure that you were. Alozia and Mandar, thank you for joining. Awesome, guys. That knee lift killed my quads, but I did hike 13 miles in the last two days. Kay, you are amazing. I, where did you hike? I hope it was somewhere beautiful. Ha, huh, you guys. So a lot of the reason that was so hard too is that we did that side lunge to curtsy, which were very leg heavy. And then we came right down and we're in that flexed quad position. So even though our core and our upper body is in theory doing the work, these guys are already on fire from that side lunge to curtsy and then they're still flexed, right? So that is why we felt that so much, right? Whoo, Angela, save to do again later. Yay, awesome. Thank you, Angela. Angela, who you guys have heard me talk about before, who's been so consistent, keeps showing up multiple days in a row. It's all about the consistency, right? Keeping it going. Thank you, April. Thank you, Heather. If anybody has any specific questions, um, let me know. I'm here. I got a couple minutes. I always do this. If you're just joining the live for the first time today, I always do this where I hang out for a few minutes and say hi to you guys because it's really fun for me to connect to you all. And also, uh, if you have any questions about the workout or anything else. So, um, Wendy says, I pushed through it knowing it was Tabata and each time it would end quickly, right? Yes, the leg lifts and climbers were intense. That again, that's the nice thing about this format is you know, okay, I just gotta push through 20 seconds. 
And ideally, you would give it your all in those 20 seconds because you know you have a break coming, right? So that is, that is why HIT, just high intensity interval training can be so effective in general is because you can really go all out. You guys know I've been talking about this recently in a lot of our cardio workouts or our shred workouts where it's like, earn that rest. You want it to be by the time you get to the rest, you need the rest. So whatever that is for you, that doesn't always mean faster or harder or that you're jumping if jumping is not right for you. It means that you're going all out for you and you're needing that rest, right? That's what we want. So Catherine, you had a 13.2 mile run today. Love the core and glute moves. Always a good side lunge to curtsy. Yes, oh my goodness, your legs must be so tired. But good point, Catherine, that we do need that lateral movement, that hip movement, if you are a runner, and I know a lot of you guys are, because it's all forward motion, we really wanna make sure that we're strengthening the hips, the sides of the knees, that we're getting in all of those planes of motion. Gathering, how long <laughs> does it take you to come up with your workouts? They're always so innovative and fun. Oh, you guys, so I spend a lot of time in here just kind of playing around. Um, I'll look at other old workouts of mine and think, what can I do differently? I research other people's workouts, you know, on Instagram or YouTube just to see like, oh, that looks fun. Oh, I've never tried that before. Every trainer does this. We're all always thinking like, oh, what can I do differently? But mostly it's just trial and error and I'm sort of playing around and seeing like, oh, that feels good. Oh, that doesn't. And as you guys know, you've probably been in some of my workouts where in my head it works out and maybe I've tried it a few times in my, in in my own space, but then when we do it in the workout, we're doing it for 45 seconds or some, sometimes things don't always play out as planned, but it's a good challenge for our body, right? Now that I'm looking back, that mountain climber leg switch was probably too long to be in that flex position, but we did it, right? But sometimes I don't go through, spoiler, I don't do the entire workout before I bring it to you guys. I just have it all planned out. So I don't know if I could put a time limit because some are longer than others. Some, if I, it's a comfortable uh, format that I've done or I can say, oh, last week we did. So this week I say we did, last week we did dumbbell Tabata where we added on each time. I'm gonna do that again this time to make it a little different. So sometimes it takes a long time. It's a lot of trial and error. Sometimes it's looking at what I've done in the past and looking what you guys give me feedback on that you really like. Um, and I think a lot of people seem to like Tabata so yeah, it takes, sometimes it takes a while. Sometimes I feel like I can come up with it quickly if I have an idea what we're gonna do, but it's, if you guys saw, I think I've showed you guys this before, but I end up typing it out on my computer or my phone, and then I put it all here. And as you notice, my kids always come in and draw, we have to draw a line so they can do it at the bottom. Um, <laughs> so I write it all out there. So it's written out a few times, I experiment with it, and then I bring it to you and hope that you love it. Uh, <laughs> Gathering makes me chuckle when you say, we shouldn't have done that. I know, because sometimes you just don't know, again. Uh, and sometimes it may be hard for me, but you guys loved it. That has certainly happened as well, where I'm like, oh, I didn't really love that, but I get great feedback from you guys, which means that I just personally didn't love it. It doesn't mean that it didn't work in the workout. Yes, bonus moves are crazy. Um, yes, more BOSU workouts, yes, guys. In fact, maybe I'll do that today. I know, I know. I need more of those and the regular ball. Kay, in the mountains of Colorado, oh, how beautiful. I bet that hike was tough too because of the elevation. Good work, thank you. Yvette is sweating. Bye, Mel, awesome. Let's see. Imir says, I love the variety with the monthly calendar, easier to keep consistent. Yes. Uh, Angela says, I like it even by you when the workout's not completely perfect because it makes it seem like you're in it with us. And I am. You guys, did you see me on that bonus move? I was tired. I needed to get a little bit lower on those laterals, but you know what? I was being where I was today and I was just gonna finish it out. So yes, I am always in it with you. <laughs> so. Uh, Dolores says, I like when you change your mind and tell us to do it in a less complicated way. That's also usually for me. I know some of you guys can't handle it. Oh, Deborah, yes, I'm sorry. So this is Gorilla Mats. 
Um, I love this company, you guys. They're a little bit pricier, obviously, than if you're just doing sort of a standard yoga mat, but they're really thick. So a lot of the people in the athletic club have them. A lot of people will tell me they keep this under like a living room rug or it's really durable. So as you can see, it's a little bit thicker. I've had this one for several years and it, it I mean, obviously I do, it's gone through hundreds and hundreds of workouts, maybe even thousands when you count my clients training in here. So um, I will make sure, yes, so if you scroll in the description, you'll see it. And if you use the code Amy10, you can get a discount. So use that link that's in the description. Um, they're great mats, especially if you wanna have a lot of space. I know sometimes what's nice, especially if you're working out in a garage or you know in a basement or somewhere, it's nice to, um, to uh, have a little more space where you can do the entire workout and not just your core work, right? So really good. Yeah, check those out. The link is in the description. Let's see, uh, Molly, what is the difference between a push kick and a pointed kick in kickboxing? Um, so, you know, it really is just style. So some people who come from a martial arts background have uh, we'll do it a little bit differently. It depends on how you got trained. So my original kickboxing training, uh, when I first was doing it, let's see, can you guys see me? Kurt, can you move the camera up just a tad? Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, you can see my kick, right? So my original kickboxing training was the push kick right out from the heel. And the idea with that is that you, if you're actually in a fight, you would be pushing your opponent away. But if you're trying to get your opponent here versus here, we do a pointed kick, right? Or same thing with a front kick. It's like a little snap if the point or kick. So a lot of it is the way we've transferred the true martial arts and boxing like in a ring to fitness, right? So it's a matter of preference. It's a matter of style. It's a matter of how we were trained in whatever kickboxing training we've got. Now that I have had several different kickboxing trainings and certifications and I've done a lot of boxing in the ring as well. I sort of have a mix so you guys see that I give you the mix of the push kick like this push out or a snap kick. So really it's a matter of preference. Now I'm trying to remember to give you both options but you may see some older workouts where I do one, some newer workouts where I do the other. But essentially it's the same set of muscles. The biggest thing I would remind you is to lift from the hip first and then kick out. So same thing in the front, lift from the hip first, stabilizing the core, and whether you're snapping or whether you're pushing, same thing from the side, you're lifting from the hip and then you've got that power. So hopefully that explains it. It's essentially the same set of muscles. Um, it, what I like to push kick a little bit more if you wanna get a little more of that hamstring and glute, but sometimes you can do the pointed kick or the snap kicks a little better if you're trying to move quickly. So hopefully that explains it. That was a long explanation. All right, guys, so here we go. Yes, look in the, thank you. We just added the description for the map. Um, all right, team, so really quickly, next month we are all gonna be doing October Athlete. So I would love for you to join me in the Athletic Club. If you guys know or you don't know, we have a lot of our Athletic Club members here, but in the athletic club, that is where you can connect with me on a more personal level. I can get to know you as well as Vivian, who is our body fit registered dietitian nutritionist. So in the club, that's where we get to answer your questions. We go live. Both of us go live every week with Q and A's. If you can't make it, you can submit your um, questions ahead of time. We take certain topics related to the monthly theme and we cover them. We do what we call fad versus fact, where we're breaking down myths or trends. Uh, we have a form feedback where I'm going to talk to you personally about your form. There's so much extra going on and it's in the Body Fit Athletic Club. So if you can join us again, the links are in the description below. We would love to have you. October athlete, it's going to be all about training like an athlete. But listen, if you have a body, you are an athlete. If you can move that body, you are an athlete. We all are going to find our inner athlete. So I don't want you to think that this challenge is not for you because you can't jump or you, you have had a knee surgery or whatever reason. There will, as with all of my workouts, there's gonna be options for everybody, but we're gonna be breaking down some sports nutrition, some the ways that athletes recover, 
um, all things that we can pull from athletes to apply to our everyday lives in terms of our health and fitness. So it's gonna be a fun time. We're gonna have lots of fun new workouts on the calendar. Again, they will all always have options for you. And in the athletic club, we're gonna to get tons of extra as well as the best part about the athletic club is that we have this amazing community. So 500 people from all over the world, body fitters who are all on different journeys. We're sharing our challenges. We're sharing our, we're celebrating our wins. We're there for each other. We're getting to know each other, which is why you guys see me calling out like, oh, hey, Melanie, hi, hey, Monique. She says, join it, it's the best. Um, it's a really great group. We really are like one big family, so we would love to have you. More information is gonna be coming in your email. Make sure that you are signed up for my newsletter as well as on my social media. So make sure, guys, I'm gonna be talking about it more next week because it's gonna officially start on Monday, October 4th. Thank you so, so much for joining me today. This was fun. I hope everybody has a great rest of your weekend and get excited about new workouts coming up next week. So yes, I mean, are the live sessions from the athletic club safe? Yes, everything that is goes live in the athletic club is also stays there forever and ever. So you can, if you can't make it, a lot of people worry about the time zones. I will tell you that we mix up when we do the times, we do sometimes morning, sometimes evening, evening, sometimes afternoon, knowing that everybody's in different time zones. Um, but even if you can't make that specific live, they get saved. Again, you can submit your questions ahead of time and you can watch them at any time, whatever works for you. So thank you guys so much. Have a great rest of your weekend and I will see you next week for some more workouts. Bye everybody.